Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Fight Night Champion and Kevin Snow continuing his legacy here. We got 14 wins, 13 knockouts. So every non-mishap has been a knockout for this man. So we got another short schedule here, so we're going to have to be careful about training. But we're going to go into the usual, our sparring. Then we're going to go athletic, as we do. Then we're going to rest up and get ready for the fight. Should be able to get back into our long distance counter punching ways. So Kevin Snow should be quite welcome in this one. I believe we got ourselves a boxer puncher this time as Henry is going to be our sparring buddy this time. on that one. I was trying to I should have seen that and sidestepped a little faster. Oh, crunch steam with a good uppercut. Caught one there. Oh, there's another good one. Get my old brawler tendencies going sometimes. Ow. That's what gets me in trouble a lot of times. Oh, like that. I got myself in trouble that time. I knew I was going to do something down this time. Oh well. Gonna recover a 30. I got a 30 out of it. That'll work. I guess that'll work. Not going to have the max stats, but we're going to do good. Okay, so we got two weeks left, so we're going to do athletic training. Let's see what our lowest stat's going to be here. We got reflexes, toughness, endurance. Let's go with toughness. Let's see. The lowest stat seems to be reflexes. Oh, they're all down pretty much. Reflexes seems to be the lowest right now. I can do a defensive drill. And that'll get the reflexes up, okay. And now the last week before the fight, we shall rest it. All right, now we're going to do the boxer growth, see what we can build on. Tempted to get a blinding jab in there, or even get the right straight to where it could be a flash knockout. That might be the way to go. Let's see. Of course, I can also get the chin and the heart up. See, I can do, should be able to do one of these to max. Let's see, we'll go there, there. And then one of the, one of these long punches got to be, all right, we're going to, we're going to do that. We're going to deck somebody. Let's give that right uppercut. Well, actually, the left uppercut is just as good. Well, actually, 
We'll actually save those points. All right. Now we're going to go into the fight. All right. Taking on Ulrich Stevens. Nice little pre-fight drink here for a second. We're going to see what we can get into. State Palace Theater, Nolans, Louisiana. Kevin Snow against Ulrich Stevens. Stevens 5'9", 73 inch reach. So he's about the same as Snow. A little lighter. You see the man from Chicago, Kevin the Snowman Snow. 14 wins, 13 knockouts. Ulrich's record, 18 wins, 9 losses. No draws but 11 by knockout from the Ukraine. I'm not about to try that name. All right, here we go. So, Snow versus Stevens, round one. There's a good right straight to open this thing up. From the Ukraine, yes. He's got those trunks on. EA not really good about doing the random trunks, especially when it comes to the nationalities. Here we go. There's a good jab. A nice little uppercut there getting out of the way. He is attacking quite a bit, so definitely something to kind of watch out for. I don't want to throw too many punches early either. I'm trying to take a minute to not throw something. Took a shot that time. There's a good uppercut. Nice one on Stevens. Should be able to do pretty good on this one. He leaned in. I was able to get one shot before he left. There's a good left uppercut. Stevens ate that one, and that's going to be into round one. Probably threw a little too much in that round. But hey, doing okay. Seems like we got a few shots in, did some damage. So 96% versus 91. So we're going to have to work on the body a little bit. And here we go. Stevens starting off. Charging in there. We're going to see what he does. A couple shots. Tried a winding little hook there and that missed. Couple shots, the reverse one to the old straight jab. Roll for a minute and then we'll back up. Oh, good right straight. Stevens ate that one. Give him a straight, then come back. Give him a couple uppercuts there, see what he can do with that. Good shot there by him, though. Oh, good shot from him that time. Got a good one to the head. Oh, and he missed on that one. He paid for it. Try that power hook. That didn't work. Ooh, try to power up a cut. That didn't work. A nice hook to the body there by Snow. Another hook. 
That'll slow him down a little bit. Oh, both men with straights. About 30 seconds left in this round. Tried to catch him on the way in that time. Didn't quite work. Oh, good straight to the body. Oh, he tried to clinch and he missed. He tried to get another straight in before the round ended. That's two rounds done. And Stevens is starting to kind of perspire a little bit. Down to 81%. Snow still got 92. So trying to keep the gas tank pretty high for Snow. Tried the jab, did not get it. Neither one landed. Oh, he got me that time. I didn't get out of the way fast enough. Oh, he good hook there that time. He nailed one. Caught me swinging. Ooh, everybody missing that time. Oh, caught him with the right uppercut. Didn't quite get a chance to finish him though. Caught him with a jab, so he wasn't he wasn't ready on that one. There's a good straight. Trying to catch him with a straight, and neither one connected that time. Swinging a lot right now, so I may have to catch him because that's the end of round three. Burned a lot of gas that time, but we can't afford it. About 87% versus 71. So if we get him dipped below the 60 mark, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. 10 to 9 to score throughout three rounds on the judge's scorecard. Good one, two there. And a good shot to the gut there. A few flurious shots from Snow, and they landed. And that one landed from Stevens, a good shot. Stevens able to get a few good ones in there. Ooh, got the reverse one too again, the straight jab then. Stevens not getting a lot of good shots in. He's got some though. Can't say that he hasn't. Got the jab that time. Following that one two there. few jabs that time threw in and then the straight did connect oh and there's an uppercut and the hook's gonna catch him the right hook finished him brought in that hook and just wrapped it around the guard and caught him as he lost him 
Lost himself there. I just noticed he's got a weird combination of nationalities on his gear. That's alright though. Just a video game. It's cool. And that's going to be the end of round four. He's got some bruising on that cheek there starting to show up. And snow now at 80%. Stevens at 59. And he's got that damage on that cheek. That right hook connected. And here we go. Round five. Halfway round. I'm betting this could be over at this one. Oh, and there's a good shot to the gut. Flurry of shots there from both men. Snow tried to get a couple of cuts. Got one to go, but not the other one. There's a good jab. Stevens trying his best here, but not exactly the, not exactly sh showing a whole lot of results here. There's a right straight, just knocked him over. Cut the tree down in that one from the top. Down he goes, just flat out. Referee's counting now. Stevens making his feet. Up at a six count. There's that nasty right straight of snows. And there's another one. And Stevens is going to clinch for a second. Oh, and there's another right straight catches him. And he's going to gut him. Snow's going to take a few shots to the gut. There's a right straight, and that's the one that puts him down as he just jabbed him straight right there to cut the gas tank out, and Stevens drops. He's sputtering out here as that's a six count. Can he make his feet? And he will at a nine count, so barely. An uppercut there, Stevens might make the round, and he does. Snow tried to finish him, but did not quite get it. That is going to be all right, though, as Snow's got this matchup in hand. 77% stamina, and Stevens has dropped below 50, so it is all but over for this man. Here we go, round six, so we are past the halfway mark. So Stevens did make the halfway point. Oh, and a good hook there from Stevens, able to catch snow. There's a right straight, and down he goes. I, as soon as I saw that punch coming in, threw the right straight and knew that was going to be trouble. As down he goes. Third knockdown of the match, and Steven might not have enough. He's staggering, and he is up. Very nice, Stevens. He will last a little bit longer. It's going to be time to see what he can do, though. A couple uppercuts there. Expected, expecting him to come in, and he didn't. Stevens gutted that time, or a hook goes to the body, stuns him, and then a hook to the head, and that ends it. This is over. Stevens doesn't have enough in this tank. He's going to stagger, he's going to fall, and that's it. Ulrich Stevens lasted a good while in this matchup, but the victor, once again, Kevin Snow. 
nice little showing there from both men as Ulrich showed showed some promise, but he just was up against a taller counterpuncher that knew what he was doing. You can see the score 10-9 uh, for the first three rounds, 10-8, and then 10-7 because of all the knockdowns. Then the sixth round was just it, as Stevens just could not make it. So a 50 to 42 score there. You can see the punch total. Snow didn't have the best. This one only 48% connectivity versus the 35 of Stevens. Even though Stevens caught about half his jabs and the majority of his uppercuts on the left hand side. Right hand side not as much. Had some good power shots he threw just could not last it. 96% on the counter so only one counter punch for Snow missed. Best round looks like it's round four. Even uh, round six actually was the one that put him down. But round four, we'll say, was the full round. All five counter punchers, uh, counter punches landed. Both right uppercuts. Uh, only four of eleven left uppercuts uh, through eleven of fifteen of the right hooks. Three of five of the left hooks. Nine of sixteen of the straights hit. 15 and 25 of the jab, so 44 to 74 hit in that round. The worst round looked like it was round three, where I believe that round Snow was just pretty much trying to rest up a bit. No, he wasn't. <laughs> we were trying to get aggressive and missed on that one. You can definitely see the, the head damage is very minimal on this for Snow, so not too bad. So it did pretty good there in dodging. But it was up against a smaller fighter, so, I mean, there's that. So now we're going up into the next one. Let's see if we have a fight here. And we don't. We've got a possible sponsor here. The robes for a couple fights. We're not really worried about that, so. We've got a streak going. All right, let's see. The three wins in a row. Eleazar Carroll saying he can put an end to the to the streak. So let's see what he's a rank eight. He's his last fights one of four. He's a shorter fighter though, so we'll probably use this as a good push. The MGM Grand ten round fight, so this will most likely propel us into the top ten. As the last five fights have been nothing but knockout, as Carroll is a smaller fighter, but he's probably a tougher one. Let's see what is. Nothing at 20, so he doesn't have the instant. Well, except for the right hook to the head, which he probably is not going to get the head shot in unless we're stupid. Alright, so. We'll take him on, and we'll go back to our usual place of Big Bear. Hopefully, we will have a big, big time training. And since we're going into this fight, I know what I know what duds we're wearing. Let's see. Looks like 20, 27, 4, and 11. That's going to be a full four-week training session. So he is going to be in trouble. We are going to have our full stats and everything ready to go. So we're going to edit the boxer. We're going to put on the clean gear. And I'll be recording that fight here very shortly. So let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to go. Let's see. I don't know if there's any other trunks I want to go besides these. I'll keep them. So what we're just going to change. I don't know why I did that, because it's still the same color. All right, so we're going to keep the text white. The base, however, we're going to go with the old... Do I not have black on here? Oh, yeah, I do. There we go. There's the black. We'll go with the black and blue. We'll have the logo also be the black. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we're going to go to 
We got our sock. We'll change the socks to to oop, not brown. Go black, goober. Okay. We'll go with the gloves. Alright, secondary color, that should also be black. And then, let's see, the lace color, we'll make that the snow blue. And then the logo color is going to be black. So there we go. And now for the shoes. Let's see if there's any, let's see, we got Lionsdale. Well, where the lines deal might be for one more fight. Let's see, base color. There we go. There we go. Snowman looks clean. Keep the text white for snowman just because. And then the robes. Change that base. We'll do it reverse. We'll go with the light blue with the black belt. And, a, and the black trim. There we go. And there he is. You know, just for this, I just thought of this. We've had Snow's hair, this yellow color, for a while. See if maybe I can. Okay, we can change it. Let's see what else we can do. We got the light blonde, dirty blonde, the red, light brown. The blue. See what it looks like. There's black hair. Not really a fan of. We can go with the blue hair. Green, purple, bright red, white. That could be fitting for later on. You know what? Let's see. Let's see here. Blue or white? We're going to go with white just because we can. It's the snowman. All right. There we go. The white hair. The platinum white. There we go. That looks clean. We're going to go in there with that. All right. That's going to be the end of this recording. Appreciate everybody watching. Stay tuned till the next fight. Have a great day and God bless you.